The Weekend in Jacksonville with Dan Hicken is presented by Millennium Physician Group, your connection to a healthier life. Jacksonville, your favorite media mogul, Daniel Patrick Hicken, comma, Esquire, ready to give you this weekend's rundown of all things Jacksonville sports. I want to talk about the Jaguars. You know, now look, no news is good news right now at this time of the year, right? You don't want to be in any headlines because nobody's around, right? It's vacation time. Coaches are off on vacation. Players are given free time. All they really got to do is stay in shape. Just stay in shape going forward until you come back for training camp at the end of July. And by the way, July is cranking up this weekend. Happy Fourth, everybody. Uh, but big news for Trevor Lawrence. He finally used his toaster that you guys bought for him. Uh, obviously, you raised thousands of dollars for charity, which was even more important. But Trevor took the time to tweet at the head of the fundraising effort, Dilla, and I thought that was pretty cool. So uh, everything he does, you sort of like. One more other Jaguar note. Hey, CBS Sports. Urban Meyer, 28th? 28th coach in the NFL? Really? Now listen, if you want to put all the rookie coaches at the bottom and do that, that'd be fine. But this guy didn't. He had Arthur Smith, 21st, ahead of some coaches. Uh, I'll just ask you this. Would you rather have Urban Meyer or Nick Sirianni? Right? I mean, would you rather have another rookie coach? Would you rather have Urban Meyer or Vic Fangio? Fangio? Whatever. Bottom line is, Urban has to prove his mettle, but I think he will. We're excited. We can't wait for Jaguars football. Meyer and Lawrence leading the troops. It's going to be a very, very interesting, hopeful, and fun fall. All right, let's talk some Gator football, shall we? Uh, no new recruits this week. Hey. Uh, pretty quiet across other sports, but I'm excited about the Gator football season, too. And I'm excited because I think Emory Jones is going to be better than a lot of people think. I think Emory Jones can really throw it, and you know he can run. It's going to be a different offense. It's going to be more like Dan Mullen likes to do. You're going to see Emory Jones take off and run a lot. And they got some wild cards at running back that might be pretty good. Lorenzo Lingard, the kid from uh, Clemson who transferred down. Uh, Naquan Wright, uh, Damian Pierce. So lots of choices at running back. For me, the key is the offensive line. How good can the offensive line be? Can they fortify the offense? Can they be the strength of the team? Can they block? Can they protect Emory? It's going to be a fun year. They're going to be clear-cut favorites in nine games, and they're going to be clear-cut underdogs in three games. The Bama game in September in Gainesville at LSU and Georgia and Jacksonville. Uh, injuries aside, those three games, they'll be underdogs. They'll be favored in all the rest. All right, also, what about FSU? I'm going to tell you this about FSU. Most significant weekend in football last weekend, probably since they upset North Carolina in football. I'll tell you why. They're in the recruiting mix finally. You know, it's taken a while. Mike Norvell had to come in, had to meet people, had to get around the state. It's taken some time. He's got to get his staff acclimated to, to the way things are done in the Sunshine State. But now he's making inroads. He's getting four stars. And when you start getting four stars, that's a big deal. That's something that's noticeable. And if you look at FSU's recruiting rankings, you'll see that they're moving up. They're moving up, and that's, that's a big deal. All right, before we get out of here, uh, let me remind you, a lot of local products going to uh, Tokyo for the Olympics. It's going to be a fun summer watching that. We told you about some of them last week. Ryan Murphy from Bowles, the best in the world at the 100-yard backstroke, 100 and 200 yards, and probably some relays as well. Caleb Dressel from Clay, who will probably be the most decorated swimmer of all in this particular Olympics. Garrett Scantling from Episcopal, the number one U.S. athlete in the decathlon. Uh, wish Garrett a lot of luck and wish him well as well. Look for those guys to, to meddle and bring home, some, bring home some hardware. All right, that's all we got today, ladies and gentlemen. Check out all the uh, local sports going on in the world. Don't forget the Sharks are always going. The Jumbo Shrimp are always going. Uh, the Iceman got an affiliate with the Rangers now. Cool things happening. Relax and enjoy the weekend here in beautiful Jacksonville, FLA. We'll see you next time on Jacksonville's Weekend in Sports.